For ACUSports.com, I'm Grant Boone with Adam Dorrell, head football coach. His team is now 2-1 and one in the Southland Conference after a 45-20 victory over the University of the Incarnate Word in San Antonio last Saturday night. Coach, the takeaway from last Saturday was what? Uh, proud of our team. Uh, we, we were really excited because our guys played with a lot of energy and enthusiasm. We executed at a high level uh, in all phases. Uh, really, the only letdown of the night was uh, we had a couple punts blocked. And, you know, like I said to you after the game, we're – working to get that fixed and so uh, there was just a lot of a lot of great things out of it got our first road win you yeah. know since 2014 so uh, we're hoping that really helped our guys' confidence in a positive way and, and we'll learn and grow from it and get better as a program uh, you emphasized turnovers before that game yeah. Saturday uh, you did mention there were a couple of punts that were blocked um, from Incarnate Word against your punt team, but offensively, no turnovers, and the defense took a couple of balls yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, no turnovers on offense was great. We thought uh, we went back, and we only had one ball on the ground. Uh, our receiver fumbled a ball in a jet sweep, and you know, he had the ball in the wrong hand. So, again, that's something you can learn from. But took care of the football, and then our defense got us some, some great turnovers. Uh, let's talk about the game against McNeese on Saturday night. This is the number one defense in the Southland Conference, uh, and that's uh, – that's not a statistical uh, oddity, is it? This is a legit D, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, they are. They're, uh, they're hard-nosed. Uh, you know, like I've said to you before, I think um, the little I know of their head coach, they kind of take on his personality a little bit. He was a great player there, played on the defense, was a longtime assistant there. And so uh, they're a defense, in my opinion, kind of a defense uh, first football program. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that's what we're trying to do here. And uh, I've got a lot of respect for what they're doing. Their kids play hard. They run to the football. They're – they're well coached and they're fundamentally sound. Your defense isn't bad either. Number no. two in the league, right yeah. behind McNeese. Yep. Uh, most important thing Saturday is what? Well, it's broken record, but it, you know we have to we have to win the turnover battle. That's number one. Uh, number two, uh, we have to stop their running game. Everything they do is predicated off that. For us, offensively, uh, we got to build on the momentum from Saturday night. You know, I think McNeese has only given up three runs all year over 15 yards. So just something crazy like that. But we have to be creative in how we're going to do things Saturday to get the matchups we want to get. I, what I've really seen from, from people on film is um, I feel like a lot of people have really played right into their hands a little bit mm. with some of the stuff they've done. So uh, we've gone to the drawing board a little bit, and we're trying to figure out some ways to be creative and uh, you know get our playmakers to football. And, and, and the biggest thing is just having the mindset of, of not being intimidated you know, by McNeese. Well, there are a few tickets still available for Saturday night's game. For folks watching this, maybe locally or even in the Metroplex, Houston, San Antonio, within driving distance, what would the message be uh, to, to the ACU Nation? Come on out to the game. Uh, obviously, we're, we're, we're hoping for a great game. Uh, you got a top 25 team in McNeese going to be here. Uh, going to be a great night, nice and cool. It'll be the coolest. So please come on out and support us.